Oh boy, lads. I got some very, very, very great mental gymnastics for you today. Because usually I don't really do such stuff because it's very, you know, clickbaity um, generally just to try and hype up on people's mistakes. But this mistake is so petty that we just have to talk about this. Because I'm part of the Play for Peace campaign at the moment because I think it is a very very cool thing and I do have to say that Gaijin in the regard of play for peace was incredible generous. There were loads of streamers out there, we got unique decals, we got drops for the streamers and basically every single person got two things to give away per day, three days each. One being a bigger package ranging from the Patton to the Avery to Dora or smaller stuff like the Saf or starter packages. So, this was incredible generous by Gaijin Entertainment. However, they thought, you know what, that is a great idea. Play for Peace is a great thing, because not only do the War Thunder CC promote War Thunder as a game, no, there are several World of Tanks CCs which also got pulled into the boat, asked if they want to join us, want to try out the game, want to show us help for a good cause, and they decided to join. In the German speaking community we do obviously have Myland. He already is playing War Thunder as an alternative to World of Tanks. But there were other World of Tanks CCs in the German community which haven't played War Thunder yet. Notable Chess Shiny, Maus Akrobat, Freddy. I guess you as the German viewers will probably know those people or the ones which are coming from my World of Tanks channel. So that is amazing promotion. Not only are those streamers freely giving free promotion to your game from the competitor. World of Tanks is a direct competitor to Gaijin's War Thunder. That's just how it is. Both games have their strengths and weaknesses. I talked about this in a separate video. And I still think you can play both games without having to kill each other about it. However, it is such a smart move by Gaijin to then say, you know what, let's make a unique starter package just for those people coming and trying out War Thunder coming from those World of Tanks streamers. And this is what it's all about in today's video. Because the, it's here where Gaijin made a screw up. If you go to this home page, which is War Thunder, Play for Peace 21, and want to try out the game, you can put in your registration, your email address, etc, 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 and you're able to get three unique vehicles, being the Panzer II Duck, the Flagels BF109A, and the Torpedo Boat PT3, as well as seven days of premium if you're a new player. Now that is amazing, you know, you, seven days of premium in War Thunder gives you loads of time to go through the game and get a little bit of stuff. Like, I still think the premium days in War Thunder are the best thing you can even buy. However, there was apparently an exploit if I am quoting the support. What happened is that if you got this package as an existing player, because that's something which Gaijin also allows you to get, you would also get those seven days of premium, even though those seven days of premium were not given or like it was not planned to give it to existing accounts. That was the exploit. That is the problem which we are having right here. Now, a sensible game company out there would stand up to their mistake and say, you know what, yes, we are going to lose some re revenue, but it's for a good cause, so whatever, let us slide it. I do want to say that the direct competitor to War Thunder, aka World of Tanks, decided to be this generous back in 2020, March, to give away 14 days of premium for everyone because of COVID. Obviously, this is a marketing trick. Nothing which is gifted is just there to make you happy. It's a marketing trick to try and make you like the company or have a better picture, a positive picture of said company. And that was obviously with Wargaming's face. They were like, oh yeah, you know what? There is a Corona crisis out there. It is trash, it is bad, and it's better when everybody would stay at home. So why not try? Because there's so many people at home, they probably want to play the game. Why not say, boom, let's give out 14 days of premium for everybody which clicks the link on our website, on our official website. It will make them happen. They're like, oh my God, Wargaming is such a nice company. I never thought of that, them doing this. Oh my God, great. It will give very good brand reputation. Yeah, that was nice. And this is what Gaijin could have done the same right now. They could have said, okay, we actually made a mistake, whatever. Everybody can keep those seven days of premium and the people which are doing this, they can, there's nothing which is happening. However, Gaijin, and we don't know if they're greedy or not, even though there was just a sale, which is one of the highest income per year, decided to say it is an exploit. 
we have to take those seven days of premium away. That is obviously a bummer. But then again, I can understand that if your direct competitor makes a lot more money, that you cannot get that much money and you cannot give away so much free stuff. Would have been great for a charity event, but whatever. We accepted that Gaijin cannot fathom giving everybody which clicks on a link seven days of premium. So they take that away, which is understandable. It's understandable when you're a small company and you cannot give out that much free stuff. What isn't understandable is now the whole reason why I want to talk about in this video. When we now look at the Reddit post from Sergeant KK, she decided to buy one day of premium earlier that day. For his own GE, 190 GE, which is the minimum, which is roughly 1 or Euro 50 or 1.5 VIGN uh, worth of Golden Eagles. And suddenly he noticed that he only got 12 hours rather than 24 hours. And now let's look at the response by Alex. On December 28th, 0741, you used the link to activate the bonus content, including seven premium days. The content which per description is provided only to new accounts. Okay, we can accept that. There was an exploit that provided premium time for this bonus to all accounts, not just new ones. The exploit has been fixed and the premium time on the account has been removed. Again, we can accept that. That is not is scummy, it's not nice, but it's fine and it's in the legal terms. Since it was already partially used, this created a debt on your account, which has been covered with your recent purchase of on premium day. Best regards, senior support specialist. Are you this petty, Gaijin? Are you really this petty? Like, wow. So a person, we don't know what is their background. We don't know how much they spend in the game. We don't know the reasoning, but they decided to pay with their own money with their own GEs, which they didn't exploit it on anything, to get 24 days of premium. And if you really, really, really want a power grind, this means technically you could get 24 hours of playtime out of it. If you would do a 24 hour play session, which I wouldn't recommend. Eight hours of sleep, boys, is very important. However, Gaijin said, you know what? You got that because you used exploited, aka we made a mistake, premium days, and we took it away. This is the thing which I cannot f fathom. Like, how petty are you, Gaijin? Bruh! <laughs> this is so petty. Like, we can accept you making a mistake and you taking away of this. Okay, we get it. But taking away other people's premium days because they have debt on it. And I'm pretty confident I will most likely be also involved in this debt because right now I have 380 days of premium account on my account. And I've played during this time when this um, thing was a thing, you know, this link was a thing. And I even also got the thing because I wanted to get those small tier premiums because I like to collect stuff. I'm a messy. Some people might even call me a dragon. And then they decide to take away those premium days, those premium hours rather. I know it might also sound petty for me to talk about this with just some hours, but it's, I just want to point out how incredible petty it is from this company to be this greedy about a charity event where they made a mistake. You can't call it an exploit when you made it such a this f up. Like, calm the hell on. Hot oh, dang. And yesterday I did a video about which would be the best premiums. Now that is leaving a very bad taste on my channel. Well, thank you very much, Gaijin. In any case, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this screw up. I, I, I usually really don't want to do, do videos about this, but it just has to be talked about. Like, come on. Don't be petty, Gaijin. You had a chance to show the world, your player base, that you're not greedy, that you're like, hey, you know what? It's a charity event. Let's go for it. Let's help those people. Nope. You make your competitor World of Tanks look even better. Congratulations. Well, really, congratulations. And thanks so much for watching, guys. I see you around. Don't forget to subscribe. We are fairly close to our 1,000 sub goal. Cheers.